Magandang araw, podmates! Hawi 7 rin muli kasama ang isa pang premyadong Pilipino na magbibigay ng payo sa atin tungkol sa anxiety ng kapaskuhan. Yes, the holidays are not just joyful but also stressful. How can we manage the sensory overload after years of quiet and lockdowns? How should we react to the titos and titas who make taklesa comments during reunions? And just the relatives and friends that we no longer agree with. Marami sa ating may ganyan. So, friends and podmates, our guest today, the trauma therapist and mental health clinician, among many other things, Gang Badoy Kapati. Magandang araw sa iyo, Gang. Hello, Howie. Mas- maraming salamat na na-invitahan na- na- mo ako dito. Hello, oh, thank thought- you. Ano yung yeah. sinabi mo kanina? Thought people? Uh, podmates. Oh, podmates. Hi, yeah, pod- yeah. Uh, yung pakulo lang namin yan. Just, you know, it's part of our akala ko sabi mo Akala ko sabi mo thought mates. Sasabihin ko sana, ang ganda naman. Nun. Pwede rin, pwede rin. Oo, oh. wow, oh, well, ikaw naka-invento niyan. Ha? So, uh, you know, we'll give you credit. <laughs> uh, yeah, podmates and thought mates. Pwede, oo. Di ba, my, my thought leaders, eh, di ba? Anyway, yeah, yeah, gang, no? Just to clarify and, and to get this uh, possible confusion out of the way. No, you're, you're one of two known public personalities with the last name Badoy. And you are often mistaken for her, si Lorraine Badoy, ang dating communications official sa Administrasyon Duterte. Uh, just so people know, she is your half-sister. Both yes. of you are very... Very opinionated and active on social media. Maybe that's why you get mistaken for the other. But uh, yun nga, just to clarify, you are Gang and she is Lorraine, whom you call your manang we. She is older than you. I'll ask you about your interesting uh, family background later. <laughs> no, <laughs> But first, let's go to holiday blues, Gang. No, uh, a, uh, I know uh, you've been thinking about this and this is part of your expertise. No, And, and thank you for uh, helping make mental health and wellness a part of the public uh, conversation no? so it's it's that time of year no maraming hope comings and reunions uh but uh this is the first uh, uh big holiday season uh since before the pandemic no before but we know holidays in general can be can be stressful no and now we're emerging from a pandemic uh, sa family lang namin no this year there are introductions of foreign partners no na oh, first time wow. sa Pilipinas and yeah, i'm sure we're in the situation of many no na yun lang iuwi yung kanilang uh, fiance or or hey. even a uh, new spouse <laughs> etc yeah, yun pa lang i know it's not just uh, a happy occasion but i'm sure it makes some people nervous no so ang tan- ang unang kong tanong sa iyo gang no how do you think it will be different this year from the years before the pandemic do you <laughs> think do you think the collective trauma of a global pandemic will affect how we celebrate. Kailangan natin isipin yung trauma lagi uh, na uh, time bound. I mean, mm. m- kalagi niyang lagi niyang kasabay ang time. You have to always consider time kasi yung trauma is hindi yun yung bad event na nangyari. Mm. Yung trauma yung naiwan mm. na mark na lamat. So pag sinabi ko nanonood ka ng CSI usually, ba? Lama uh, are there signs of trauma? So, ang signs of trauma, black and blue, a uh, knife wound, or whatever. So, usually it's, it's, physical. physical. Oh, usually uh, physical. Na, uh, exactly. Kaya nga ang emotional trauma, ang hirap-hirap niyang i-address kasi hindi siya visible. So, dahil sinabi ko yung time, sa tanong mo, uh, tandaan mo, maraming-maraming Christmases ang naganap bago ng 2019. So, depende ko ilang taon ka. So, kung 20 ka, <laughs> then you've had at least 18, 19 Christmases 2.5 na years na nakalock. So may memory ka kung ano yung itsura nung Christmas pre-coronavirus, right? Dalawa yes. lang yun kasi if you kaka-release lang natin from lockdowns, eh, yes. right? So dalawa lang yun, wow, I'm back! Parang yun yung una. <laughs> so, hindi mo pa masyadong ma-feel yung st- hindi mo pa akala mo, marami ka pang hindi yun na-feel. Yan na lang sasabihin ko. It's a lot like if you're so, so hungry kasi yung una mong um uh, meal uh, iba yung paglasap mo kumpara sa uh, other days that you're hungry so what do i mean how do we handle coming out of a pandemic i really think first i think we will enjoy the ones we've quote unquote missed and then ito yung pinaka okay how we, uh, i think isang gift konti lang ang gift ng pandemic and i still wish it didn't happen it's still not there i wish viruses didn't evolve this way but meron siyang gift may makikita ka throughout your life na parang ay okay lang pala to. 
Halimbawa, staying home. Uh, marami sa atin, ako, dediretso na ako as a mental health clinician na. <laughs> marami sa atin, lalo na kung nakatira tayo sa uh, masalimuot, <laughs> medyo complex na na, na, na household. Uh, eh, alam mo, kahit gano'ng ka-loving yung magpapamilya, kahit gano'ng yeah. ka-cool yung parents yeah. mo, laging may merong uh, mahirap na parts. Lagi may komplikadong parts. Dati, magkukup, Magkukup ka. Ano bang kukup sa Tagalog? Um, isa-survive mo yon by going out. No? So may barkada ka, may friends. Kung hindi mo kasundo ate or kuya mo, ang comfort mo is may kaibigan ka at may barkada ka nakasundo. So at least dito may happy moment. So nakikita mo ba yung definition ng coping mechanism? Yung lalabas ako kasi hassle sa bahay ngayon. Many of us have said that, you know. Um, by the way, pag sinabi ko hassle sa bahay, I don't mean there's no love. L- mm. Laging may love naman. Me- me- meron ding nakakainis sa love. Mm. <laughs> Parang ganun. So, ang nangyayari, marirealize mo, okay lang palang magstay sa bahay. <laughs> may mga nagre-realize na ganun. So, lahat ito, mapuput to the test over the holidays. Lahat ito, mafe-feel mo sarili mo habang nasa maingay na reunion, magkaka one minute ka na, yun ko pala to, or gusto ko pala to. So, ang ganda, ang ganda ng... Please observe yourself habang nasa ano nasa dinner ka or nasa family reunion ka. Pakiramdaman mo yung feeling ng chan mo, feeling ng shoulders mo na parang tense ba ako the whole time? Alam mo, uh-huh. ganun din natin napapansin how we eh. Pag may dumating na tita na hindi mo masyadong kasundo or tita uh-huh. na sobrang critical, hindi mo napapansin yung lower back mo, nakatig, ano, yung, yung jaw mo, <laughs> naka, ano na, naka-grip na yung teeth mo tapos yung shoulders mo medyo alert. Uh, kasi alert yung bodies natin pag hindi tayo masyadong safe. Habang nasa dinner ka, tunugan, tunugan mo sarili mo like, nagre-relax ba ako? Nafe-feel ko ba yung lower back ko? <laughs> Joe, kahit yung ano lang, panga. Kahit yung panga mo. Tense na ako. Oo, ganyan. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Well, nabanggit mo yung, yung tita, no? Well, we don't want we don't want a stereotype uh, titas. May mga tito rin na, Ay, oh, oh, na oh, oh. That, that we dread, no? Na medyo... <laughs> Uh, minsan taklesa or tak, tak, takles no? so, and that's one reason why many of us uh, uh, dread big reunions uh, kasi hindi mo naman makokontrol minsan kung sino yung magpapakita doon diba? and, then, and then there's always somebody who will you know make a comment that, that makes others uh, feel uncomfortable diba? and, and, and it's usually naman uh, well-meaning diba? parang nangangumusta lang uh, but you know very often it's Uh, and it's often uh, parang politically incorrect these days no pero alam mo mga ibang kamag-anak natin they were born in a different time no like well, like minsan makikita ka, ang, ang taba-taba mo na no as oh, if uh, oh. you know it's a sign of good health when actually parang nahi di ba parang your people get conscious of these things oh. and it's and, and we have to we have to admit that men, you know many people because they weren't able to go outside during the pandemic no they stayed inside eating yeah. uh, yeah. di nag exercise masyado oh. or yung ano yung minsan di ba yung um, oh kailan ka mag-aasawa di ba uh, or uh, kailan ka magkakaanak <laughs> <laughs> oh oh ako ako I, ha- I have one child madalas ko marinig yung antipid mo naman di ba parang oh bakit isa lang or di ba uh, diba? so eh, so uh, yo number one uh, do you have that kind of experience uh, and you know what what do you hear and how do you react how would you recommend others uh, reacting or dealing with uh, those kinds of comments by well-meaning relatives and friends sometimes Okay, unang-una, Howie, mm. kailangan rin natin aminin na hindi sila lahat well-meaning. Okay. Uh, alam mo yun, kahit yung pagkasabi mo na, o oh, pag sinabihan kang, wow, ang taba mo ngayon, but they're well-meaning. Uh, okay rin aminin na sometimes hindi. Uh, I think some of them are mean. <laughs> They can be. I don't know for whatever reason. But uh, may, the reason why I start there, kasi... We, laging pag sinabi natin pero well-meaning naman sila di ba well-meaning uh-huh. parang nabibigyan mo na rin ng excuse yung bad behavior agad eh intindihin mo na lang ibang generation sila intindihin mo na lang after the war kasi sa kanila ibig sabihin prosperous ang mataba so compliment okay. yun it doesn't matter pag may sinabihan kang 11 year old na uy tumaba ka kawawa yung 11 year old na yun magtatrauma sear siya sa brain na I need to always be thin. So they become really neurotic about weight loss. And we've seen too many. Um, I, I wish I were neurotic about weight yeah, loss, but yeah. I'm not. Um, but you know what I mean. So by that, I mean, aminin natin na meron talagang relatives na hindi bagay sa atin. Okay, yun na muna. They're not good or bad. Hindi lang sila bagay 
sa atin because I think sometimes they're mean. Why do I start here? Kasi it's a, it's a, it's a, a what do I call it? It's a stance of honesty. It's a stance of honesty. Ay, hindi. Merong iba talagang ganito. At at okay lang yon. I don't need, hindi ko sila kailangan bawian. Hindi ko rin sila kailangan tabihan. Uh-huh. <laughs> hindi ko rin sila kailangan, <laughs> you know, um, hindi ako magpapa-apekto. Pet, we always get affected. Second, pag sinabihan ka lang, uy, tumaba ka, uy, pumayat ka, uy, whatever that bothers you, whatever, kahit anong sabihin na that bothers you. <clears throat> may, dah- may reason kung bakit nasasaktan tayo agad, lalo na pag-family. Because we love them. <laughs> Kasi we want to we want them to be proud of us. We want them to be um happy that we're related. Uh so anything they say mas malaki yung ano, mas malaki yung hurt kumpara sa kung yung manang sa sari-sari store magsabing tumaba ka kumpara sa tita mo. Iba, iba diba? So it comes from love the way we're affecting we accommodate the feeling uh-huh. kasi they matter to us. Okay? Uh-huh. Now I bring I bring us to the third ah. Why do they matter to us? Yun yung mahalagang question that might need a whole lifetime to try to answer. Uh, wait, why do they? Wait, well, hold on. Before we go on to to that, no, because that's a long, that's a major important discussion. But back to number one, na aminin natin na minsan hindi well meaning, no. Okay, I I get what you uh, what you're saying. Let's let's be honest. Na hindi naman lahat magandang intention. May may mga may mga tao talaga na nangi insulto etc. Uh, but if Okay, it ito naman, I don't know if it's a devil's advocate question, but if we don't if we if we don't proceed from a kind of a good faith assumption, kasi uh, yung 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 yun ang assumption eh, good faith na okay, well meaning, di ba? Oh. Um kasi if we won't, if, kung, won't it if become we, a fight, it might become a well, fight. Well, not well maybe it won't fight. Well, personally I don't get into fights, no, but it might ruin my mood. <laughs> diba? Na, yeah, yeah. Uh, rather than rather than gloss over it. Because that's one way of kind of reassuring yourself na, na if you if you tell yourself na hindi naman hindi wala naman masamang intention, well meaning naman yan, mahal pa rin naman ako niya, hindi, hindi niya alam ko anong sinasabi niya or he's just old school. I mean, if you rationalize it that yeah. way, mas magiging forgiving ka sa tao and you can and it's more possible to move on rather than telling yourself na okay, this this person is real really he really uh hindi maganda yung intention niya um uh you know he, may may balak talaga mang insulto <laughs> oh. eh, diba, w- won't that make you like stew most of the night parang iisipin mo yon na uh, okay yeah. I, i don't know thank uh, you. Uh, oh no no yeah. that's a thank you for bringing that up super kasi uh yes it can <laughs> to make you stew the rest of the night but it's not like you're surprised you knew coming in Mm-mm. that there are relatives such, such as these but nagugulat ka pa rin Mm-mm. but every year ba ni expect mo na magiging mas okay sila parang wow mm-hmm. optimistic po naman parang hindi yan. so what i want thank you for bringing that up if i say eh ganyan siya talaga um uh, medyo mean spirited talaga si Tito or si Tita X uh you can do <sighs> ganyan talaga siya you know it doesn't have to have a reaction of fight or ruining my night it okay. you you actually get to practice There are really awful people in the planet. <laughs> and and then you proceed. It doesn't have okay, to that, okay. do you get what I mean? Why? Because yeah, yeah. ang dangerous masyado nung they mean well, etc. Uh-uh. That leads to a large frame of thinking na it's excusable, but it okay. isn't. These things are not excusable in the end. They're uh-huh. so hurtful, especially uh-huh. to the young. You yes. know when you're seven years old yeah. or when you're uh-huh. in a your preteen a comment on your weight is the world it means the world to you uh-huh. and even the comment lang na oh mas puti yung kapatid mo oh doon ang laki noon kahit it seems like it's nothing many of us outgrow it but but when you're nine years old it it that means the world uh-huh. you know okay how about this how about this okay that's that's one kind of hopefully a... i think what i meant was how we okay tayo maging honest na oh merong yeah. awful people but they don't they don't invade my mind space na. Okay. Rather than deny, deny, deny. Yeah. Kasi grabe yung system ng denial. Uh-huh. I-a-attack niya at the weirdest times in the largest magnitude. So, 
Yeah. By the way, for people listening to this podcast, I keep forgetting that there are other people listening to this podcast. <laughs> I'm actually just talking uh, to Howie. Yeah. So if I tend to be vague or parang the off marriage diagonal ako sumagot, I, I forget. Sorry, I'll, well, I'll that's remember. Part, that. Well, that's part of my my role, no? So babalikan ko yung medyo vague. <laughs> okay. hindi, ka naman, hindi ka naman vague, no? But uh, I just want to engage you on some of these points. Kasi nga, ako, uh, personally, yun ang naging stance ko. And that's how I've dealt with Okay. Um, people I've, you know, I love, generally love, but, uh, you know, I don't agree with everything they say or, um, ra- you know, rather than just be offended. But ito, there's another set of situations that that are more, I guess, pertinent to the times, no? Um, there are friends and relatives who show up and then you realize they, they have these opinions na, that are like the polar opposite of yours. Okay. Uh, for example, on back, on my vaccine i don't i don't know your your own attitude on vac- vaccination uh, no, no, but okay. i'm i I'm, I'm vaccinated i'm boosted but i have friends who are not don't believe in it and uh you know and it sometimes it causes some um awkwardness tension discomfort yeah cuz yeah. you know they go around they're not vaccinated diba so parang uh, oh. aren't you, you know, aren't you putting at risk other people my ganon no okay that's that's one you know the other is of course you must political pa Diba? All of a sudden, I you know I went to the states. I have relatives, pala, who are pro Trump. Um, you know who? How is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, may marami Pilipino dona ah, na pro Trump ah, sa America. I'm you'll oh, be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Hindi yung mga woke na kabataan usually. It's usually mga tito tita, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, and uh, you know who don't realize na you know anti immigrant pala itong <laughs> mga policies ni Trump. Oh. And then uh, my white supremacy siyang mga allies etc. No, it's uh, usually it's because you know he's anti-abortion, uh, mga ganon, no? But anyway, um, that's another set of uh, circumstances, no? Na minsan, hindi ka talaga makapagpigil, eh. I mean, ako, I, I would not engage with someone who told me, who commented on my appearance, na parang, di ba, na parang, oh, mas, mas, talagang ang laki ng tinanda mo or something like that no wow. uh, i probably wouldn't well hindi wow. naman siguro ganun ka ganun ka taklesa no but um sometimes you you get uh, you you get that feeling yun ang gustong sabihin but uh, in terms of politics um you know people who you know uh, agreed with the with the drug war for example no yeah yeah uh, you know sometimes you you really because there are there are other people listening Diba? Uh, you know, sometimes you just have to, you know, uh, put in your um, two centavos worth oh, of yeah, yeah. Uh, of uh, opinion, diba? Uh, on that, no. So, you, you know, man, how do you how do you deal with that? I mean, you can't say na uh, are they just mean? You can't say that they're, they're mean spirited just because they have a different political view, diba? Uh, yeah. Um, or do you or do you just ignore it and you know shift the conversation to to the weather and vacation <laughs> plans or the food the food diba oh, let's talk about lechon instead of you know um uh, who you're going to vote for etc yeah. how do uh-huh. you deal with that first first things for first things first uh, bago ka pa pumunta sa party okay na mag-decide ka na kaagad kung makikipag uh, mag-engage ka mag-share ka ng opinion or you will keep the the conversation on the weather and the food Parang sana bago ka pumunta mag-decide ka na. I mean, nag-iensayo tayo, nagsistretching tayo bago mag-jogging, bago mag-basketball. Mm-hmm. Kailangan mong mag- mag-emotional stretching bago ka pumunta sa family reunion. Hindi ka pwedeng pumunta doon from the cold. You know? like, cramps ka kaagad emotionally and um, psychologically. So yes, please, bago ka pumunta sa large gathering, lalo na kung medyo may tricky people, um, ano, stretching ka na na parang pag-bringing up ba to? In, kung may kasama ka, halimbawa, kayo ni Ipat ang pupunta or kami, ng, kami ni Jay pupunta, uh-huh. uh, medyo tunogan ko na, ano, what if they bring this? <laughs> Siguro I won't engage. If they bring this up. So may, pwede uh-huh. ka mag-pre-decide. Oh, pwede uh-huh. ka mag-pre-decide. Uh-huh. Pwede ka rin ba mag-change ng mind while you're already eating? Of course. Of yeah. course, pwede. So, uh, so, it will always go back to, gosh, hindi to mental health, pero Philippine culture na talaga to. Talagang read the room. Read, basahin mo kung sinong nandun. Tansyahin mo rin kung nasan ka doon. Tansyahin mo kung sinong dapat kausapin at patulan pa at sino yung hindi. Kasi merong iba na nagbibring up ng topic para manalo. Uh-huh. <laughs> yung nga yun, let them win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, pero merong iba na talagang inquiry, may tanong. Lalo na kung pamangkin mo, mas bata sa iyo. Lalo na kung uh, peer mo, let's say pinsan, I- iba na kasi yung rules pag ano eh, older eh. So, mm. I'm talking about peer and pamangkin na parang may strong opinion and you feel like you are in a 
position, whatever that means to you, you're in a spot and you have some knowledge that you would like to share. Uh, now, ito pa. <laughs> the number one uh, most difficult is talagang minding your tone, the way you say it, uh-huh. the way you say things, and, and when words, you know, wars have been caused by using the wrong phrase. So, yon may ganun. Uh, ikaw, um, ikaw rin. Examine mo rin sarili mo. Nag-engage ba ako sa sa conversation to kasi gusto ko manalo dahil nakakainis tong tito na to uh, or uh, nag engage ba ako kasi talagang I really think endangered sila if they're not vaccinated those are two different things and then you go from there mm-hmm. um, I don't sorry um, well I was going to apologize that you're not going to get very specific tips tonight but we will give I will give you the every time there's a question I'll give you the overview first and then you will decide which one you are Okay. Oh. Ngayon, I, sana may, so, oh, sana, may <laughs> sana may straight up tips ako, no? Pero parang no, you know, fine. You, no, you you're giving it context and and you know, giving giving us enough to to chew on so that we can pro- <laughs> basic ang sinasabi mo, i-process natin. Wag tayong let's not be rash. Uh <laughs> in other words, mayroon na tayong strategy on how to deal with it rather than Uh-oh. you know, uh re- you know, react Thing on the spur of the moment parang di ba kasi that's that's how you cre- that's how trouble begins eh di ba oh. um and and it means that, you know you don't want these nights to end badly di ba i mean it's you for know, you these... actually howie i really appreciate that you said earlier that uh, the reason why i keep assigning good faith to people who are biting and mean is because i need to keep my mood mm-hmm. so it's the way that i keep my equi- you know my equanimity yeah. during my evenness of temper mm-hmm. as i go there mm-hmm. Uh, so para sa iyo yon okay so okay lang pero para sa iyo rin yung sinabi ko na okay lang aminin na hindi sila okay ah mm-hmm. ang hindi okay is all night <laughs> igigera mo sila just because you admitted that what i mm-hmm. want us to learn is to say ah hindi siya masyadong okay at hindi mm-hmm. ko problema yon mm-hmm. ah hindi siya masyadong okay hindi nila ako tatabi doon hindi siya masyadong okay siguro magha-hi hello lang ako mano and then i leave So there is an honesty, there's a calmness, and when you decide that someone is awful, it doesn't always have to be a fight. Mm-hmm. You can actually stay away. But I'm, it's really good training to have a calm body while admitting there is a monster in the room. Yeah, it's really mm-hmm. really helpful rather than monster fight or monster not go or yeah. no. I'm sure it's a well-meaning monster. Can you see? Can you see the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has It- to be monster. I'll stay away. No yeah. problem. So my conscious ka lang but that doesn't mean na kailangan mo i-verbalize kung ano yung iniisip yeah. mo. Oh, diba? correct, correct. Exactly. Oh. Lang, pinag-uusapan ko lang yung thought, ah. wala pa yung decision how to act towards them. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Pinag-uusapan well, ko lang yung aminin mo naman, di ba? Okay, okay lang. You know, okay. Now, you know, we're so our culture is so family oriented, no? Uh however, in the last couple of years, marami sa atin ang uh, you know, nakakulong lang sa bahay. Nasanay na tayo doon. I mean, you mentioned that earlier, no? Uh, and and many of us were fine with it, no? Yeah. Uh, and now, uh, kung nakaka-cause ng anxiety yung pupunta ka sa isang na, you know, you're expected to be at a family gathering or reunion. And you know, there are, there are people there that you you don't, you may not agree with or might say something that will, that could be hurtful, etc. Would it be okay not to go for your own peace of mind? Uh, is that an option? Uh, and, and how can we set healthy boundaries no, uh, with our relatives and, and family? 100% yes, pwedeng mag-absent. I will always say that, pwedeng mag-absent. Ang gusto ko lang tanong mo sa sarili mo ay, how will you feel the next day after mo mag-absent? Do you feel FOMO? Like, do you feel rotten when you see the pictures of your family and you're not there? Uh, is that the priority? Or can you live with it and say, ah, sayang, wala ko doon sa family picture. Okay lang. May ganung effects eh, di ba? I mean, these are real things. Hindi ito mababaw. Mm-hmm. These are not shallow things actually. So, uh, pwede mag-absent. <laughs> pwede mag-absent talaga. Kasi, ang um, an laki ng pressure masyado kung pumunta ka into a lion's den, <laughs> mm-hmm. knowingly. And then, mas for me, I would rather go and then be prepared for it or go with no um what's the word with no unnecessary hope that that it'll be mm-hmm. okay kasi times to yung heartbreak mo after kapag mm-hmm. you know baka it will be a happy christmas by the way kailangan ko lang malaman malaman rin na sa ano, mga nakikinig sa atin na karamihan ng mga hopes and expectations natin for christmas 
napanood natin. <laughs> napanood natin sa sine or uh, nabasa natin or nakita natin sa Instagram. Kailangan mo talagang kunin yung raw texture, ano talagang itsura ng bahay nyo, ano yung possible ulam nyo, uh, so that you you are approaching truth and then you can actually either enjoy it or etc. Kasi minsan, heartbroken ka talaga eh. Kung pang picture mo, parang slow-mo ng ending ng movie na lahat, nag-high five, lahat nag-cheer. Uh, sino yun ah? <laughs> Meron din naman ganong moments for us, but they're usually very fleeting. And when you catch them, ang swerte mo, mm-hmm. kung magka-moment ka na, tawang-tawa kayo lahat magkakapatid, tapos nag-cheers kayo. Ang sarap nun, remember those. Kasi yun yung, that's what Christmas I think is about eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi siya so much the whole dinner, which is like usually four to five hours. You don't expect four to five hours are super joy. I think you will find two or three moments where you exchange, have a good exchange with a cousin. You, you know, like cheers kayo, nagtinginan kayo, nagnod kayo mm-hmm. ng mommy mo, ng mabilisan, mm-hmm. and you understood each other. Mm-hmm. An aunt who is, uh, let's just pretend being mean. You look at mm-hmm. you look at your ate and you both laugh. Now, those are moments. I mean, mm-hmm. that, I think that's what it's about more than mm-hmm. the whole five hours of mm-hmm. joy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Well, so far, no, we've been talking about you know. Family dealing with, uh, you know, relatives, kind of in an abstract or generic sense. No? But <laughs> I want to ask you about your own family, since you have <laughs> you have an interesting family background, no, and and quite unusual, no. Just just for our listeners who aren't familiar, uh, your your father, see si Justice Anacleto Badoy, was a widower with five children. Like, correct me if any of this is wrong. Huh? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, and then he, and then so he was a widower, no, and then uh, yeah. he married your mom, who was a widow then, who had. Eight children. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, so na combine yung dalawang uh, puwersa na yan, no? Oh, uh, then the two of them, na yun. Yeah. Then the two of them had you and your older brother, uh, Nooch, no? Yes. So, um, I can imagine, no? Uh, or I, I, maybe I can't imagine. It's, it's no, hard can't. to imagine. But <laughs> did you did you all get together for Christmas while you were growing up? And uh, what was that like? Me? No. Uh, no. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, when when we were born, Nuch and I, my brother and I, mm-hmm. they, you have to look at the average age. Yung mga panganay, mga 18, 19 sila nun, or 17. When you were born? Oh, yeah. Na, na, agwat, born. In other words. So teenagers. May teenagers na marami sa gitna. Mm-hmm. And then may, may blank years of children kasi yun yung years na widowed sila and then kami. Mm. So nung pinangala kami, I see, who, how do I say this? Wow, this is so personal, but it's fine. I, I will discuss this. Um, by investigating and asking my older siblings, what what was that? Kasi yung nakagisnan ko, Howie, wala na sila. It was just me and my mom's children. Whoever uh, my mom gave birth to, uh, that's who I grew up with. So uh, the eight, Sakros, that's their last name, and Nuchenai. So we're 10. The five by my dad's first wife, uh, kasama dun si Yusik Lorraine, they grew up in another home. Mm-hmm. So when I would ask, when we, when we would see each other, if you ask from me lang, ang alam ko lang, we only see each other New Year's Day lunch. Okay, January 1 lunch. Mm-hmm. That's when all 15 offsprings are together. And I remember when I was a child, it would be in Barrio Fiesta along Elsa. Okay. You know, you I know, know that. that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's the reason. Um, my 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 parents, so bio parents, my biological parents, um, got married on New Year's Day. So mm. that's actually the the only shared event. But Christmas says halos wala. But we do have birthdays, you know, in in occasion they show okay. up, but but it's usually like the twenty fifth, not the eve or the first. Mm-hmm. So, meron naman so yun ang family tradition yun, New Year's. Uh, but but you did get together, no? So you were the and then you were the youngest of this yes. big brood, no? So so what was that like? <laughs> no, buko. How much time do we have? Um, okay, if you're listening, just so that I'm not constantly talking about myself, but in my context, kung nakikinig ka at you live in a large family, meaning marami kang kapatid or may extended sa bahay nyo, Bata ka pa lang, gusto kita i-congratulate. Bata ka pa lang, ang galing mo na magbasa ng tao. So if you grew up in a compound with cousins and titas, etc., tayo talaga yung nagtitipto around uh, broken glass growing up kasi we have to read them. What What is it like? Um, now that I'm older, you know, as I'm turning 52, uh, now that I'm older, 
I look back and I realize, wow, that was tedious. Uh-oh. Minsan nga naawa ako sa younger self ko kwante. <laughs> Kasi parang, wow, pinanganak ako, ang dami kong tinikling. Si, si, tinik, ang joke namin ng kapatid ko lagi, nagtitinikling kami at nagsisingkil para lang umabot sa gerber namin. <laughs> para lang umabot sa, sa baby food namin. Ah. When, when an infant is born, in any mammal situation, be it a cat, dog, or a human, There is care around that baby and, you know, dependent yung baby and then there's food, etc. Uh, when I was born, uh, my mom was bedridden for the next seven months kasi mm-hmm. I was a tedious birth. Mm-hmm. So, ang nag-alaga sa akin in rotation, mga kapatid ko, um, I heard, <laughs> hindi ko alam. And then I, my mom told me about it. So, ang nangyayari, um, na- divided na divided yung, no matter how loving my mom is, you can't have, you have ten. You know, you have one. You have Alon, right? Uh, that even that yeah even that is sometimes uh, it feels like four or five though <laughs> exactly <laughs> imagine kami so an uh-huh. anong nangyari growing up as a youngest child of a, a complex family setup really set me up to be um uh, chronically traumatized not in a, not in what you're imagining not in the acute way but chronically uh-huh. traumatized meaning i'm always careful um uh-huh. I, i always um we kami yung mabantay what we say uh, hindi rin kami masyadong mahingi. Hindi kami uh-huh. mahingi kasi there are other people. So we wait for yeah. our turn a lot. Uh-huh. Um, which makes us very resourceful. <laughs> we have uh-huh. to figure out. So sometimes I ask through my dad. I have to figure out how to get what I want. So maraming maraming ang tawag dito. Internal, innate, inborn lessons when you grow up the youngest of a large family or anyone in a large mm-hmm. family. Okay, kasi, well, yeah, speaking of these lessons, no, because, you know, you've, you've had some public disagreements, no, over politics and, and, mm-hmm. and other issues with your ate, no, older, your older half-sister, Lorraine, no. Mm-hmm. But I understand that you were close uh, at one time. Uh, <laughs> I, I know her public comments on social media have, have been a source of, stress for you how how have you how have you handled that and ha, have you uh, been applying some of your your advice to others on your own personal <laughs> situation no i i know this is in a way this is private but you've been you've been you know tweet, both of you tweet yeah, yeah. no and so you're kind of public about all this and many people know about it but it's a matter of i guess um people are curious also because i'm sure you're not in the you're not unique in having disagreements with a sibling no so how, how have you handled that Well, hindi naman siya yung center of my mm-hmm. life or existence. But mm-hmm. on occasion, siya talagang large pebble in mm-hmm. the shoe. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do I handle it? Have I applied stuff I've learned? Actually, a large part of my diving into neuroscience, brain behavior, and mental health is because my mom has Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. And I was full also feeling uh, uh, something I didn't imagine I'd ever have, which was uh, about with depression. I really struggled with it as my mom was losing his mem- her memory. And then in the process, I realized, go, whoa! I also need everything I'm learning to handle just the dailies that that land on my lap. You know, mm-hmm. apparently, I think how we as we get older, we get less and less energy to handle. Um, can you say a bad word on your show? <laughs> to handle, yeah, yeah it, you get less and less energy and endurance to handle bullshit. Mm-hmm. So you, I started feeling started crawling closer and closer to a place na parang I tried to be as honest as possible. Uh, mm-hmm. Then I realized, wow, growing up pala, living in lies made me feel protected. Uh, like, no, they're nice. That's what I mean. I think that's why I answered your question early mm-hmm. on when you always say she's well-meaning, they don't, mm-hmm. the relative is well-meaning, they don't mean to hurt you. I think that's a lie I've been telling myself for many mm-hmm. situations na, mm-hmm. no, it's okay, it's okay, parang ganyan. But um, how do I handle? Um, <laughs> I've never been asked this. Wait, uh, let me just come gather myself. You're all. I'm always torn between really fucking ignoring mm-hmm. and and like dismissing. And oh my god, ano to? And really make it ruin my day. And also, there's another area which is heartbroken. Like, wow, she used to be so cool. So mm-hmm. yes, I have like a thousand feelings around this. Uh, recently, it 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 leans more towards annoyance. Parang yun na lang yung dominant feeling ngayon. Mm. But I also learned immensely difficult na I can love this person from afar, very, very far, and I don't need to have the dinners. And just mm. because we don't reconcile, 
or in, in the traditional cinematic way, mm -hmm. like, sorry, then your friends again, <laughs> does it make it not right? It's all right. You can walk away. Um, there are their family ties, and I wish I had uh, the situation different. <laughs> I wish I had a different situation because I do value family. I love mm -hmm. my siblings, and I, I really enjoy the the tribal feeling when mm -hmm. I have my five brothers with me and we're all the same basketball team. We all went to UP Diliman mm -hmm. and we're all etc. I love that. Every human being needs a tribe that backs mm -hmm. him up. What more kalahi mo? What more kadugu mo? And it's a lovely thing. Uh, so, but there is this. Uh, yeah, uh, there is this situation with uh, Lorraine who is, I understand, not exceptional. Every family has one. You know, the jajario lang yung amin. But um, I've learned to... Has what's the word? I learned to accept that I will have five hundred moods depending on the day it I'm seeing it, and I will just have to accept that. And I don't need to decide today what where I am. Like I don't need to decide to decide tonight that I will never be bothered by her. I don't, I don't also need to decide that I no longer love her. Uh, kailangan tanong mo ako alit bukas, tanong mo ako alit bukas. Or we forget about it and you ask me again next month because that's human. That's human condition. Uh, ba't ko sinasabi to? Ba't ko sinashare to? Kasi baka meron ka rin ganito in your life, yung mga nakikinig. Baka meron ka rin ka mag-anak na talagang parang, whew, hindi talaga, hindi talaga okay. Parang medyo, uh, ang, ang gaspang in, on you. Uh, it's so rough mm -hmm. on you. Baka rough din ako on her. Ha? So don't, don't get me wrong. I don't mm -hmm. know. But on, I'm just speaking of my side. Kung meron ka mag-anak na ganito, meron akong isashare talaga. Hindi mo kailangan mag-decide kung ano yung feeling mo permanently. Pwede ka mag-decide. This week, hindi ko muna papansinin kasi meron akong exam. This week, na-bother ako, naiyak ako kasi okay kami dati. This week, asar na asar ako. Grabe na ba pinagsasabihin ito tungkol sa red tag? <laughs> well, mm. and uh, okay, it, it, that you will have a hundred reactions uh, and not because she's important, not because she is like the central thing in your brain, but because I have uh, been trained to be empathetic, responding, engaging. Parang yun yung default ko eh. Parang hindi ako maka-default ka agad sa wala akong pakailan. Pwede siya masagasaalan, track at okay lang sa akin. That's a lie. I'll be bothered. Sometimes I get really worried na, I wonder if she has money for all the court cases. I, you know, it crosses my mind sometimes. And then I get to, oh, well, I don't really care. <laughs> Bala siya, she's an adult. And then I always get to, Hindi naman siya toddler. Okay lang, let it go. Yeah. But then, most of the time, I'm really um, uh, um, annoyed. <laughs> I'm really annoyed. And, and half the time, I'm bewildered. Like, ano ko saan galing to? Um, and many times, I'm disgusted by uh, what she says about, especially when she um, when she comments on when supposed leftists are ambushed and then she disrespectfully says, I'm glad they're dead. Mm -hmm. Um that that eh, kahit nanay ko nagsabi noon maaasar din kahit mommy ko yun whom I love the most in the world and my brother or etc I'll have a problem with that so yeah I have a problem with many things she says so my point is um, I have a thousand feelings mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a thousand feelings regarding her recently it, the predominant feeling is uh, eh? <laughs> eh? Basta, basta alam nila hindi ako yun okay na ako parang ganun yeah. Yeah, yeah and I know it and, and I know it 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 um causes you some uh, a certain kind of anxiety when people mistake you for her. I mean, you've said na sometimes yeah. people message. Sometimes people message you thinking you're Lorraine. No. Yes. Yes. Uh, wow. You know, can't imagine. <laughs> um. Sometimes I get fan mail, pero but it's mga two out of twenty lang. Pero mm -hmm. mga eighteen out of twenty talagang hate messages for her. And um, when it's recklessly written, like puro uh, mo? Uh, hindi ko binapansin yun. Pero parang pag thoughtfully written, kasi nahiya akong hindi magreply. Mm. Na actually, sorry, you feel this way. Na namatayan ka rin ng friend, etc. But actually, hindi ako yun. Pero if a forward ko, parang ganon. I also don't want to um humiliate the mm. the person, and I also don't want to say you're not today. I I ako rin naman mm. kasi nakita ko na yung earnestness ng letter mm. niya. Mm. Um, I like that you're asking me about this because very few people ask me about uh, Lorraine. It's a uh, yeah, we were close. Is that what you're asking? We, we started with that. We were close. Mm. In fact, um. I would consider myself really close. I was so absolutely honest with her growing up because she was the relieving adult for me mm -hmm. that accepted anything I said. Uh, 
Uh, how do I? How, what do I mean? My older si- sisters, whom I really grew up with, they're very well behaved. <laughs> you know, like and my mom is very strict. You can't say bad words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do well in school. Um, Manang we was like the breath of fresh air for me because I could do anything. I can even say, "Can I light a cigarette?" And parang sharing my consent. She was the cool one. She's the cool uh-huh. adult. Let's just put it that way. Uh, and for any teenage Filipina, it's so relieving to have an adult female that makes you feel. I'm not judged, you know. So that's kind of her to me. And I also thought I envied her a lot because she was so brash. Like it, she could just say things. And I was always afraid of what my mom would say. So I slowly would get the frankness from her. But then I was always afraid of my mom or the disapproval of my older siblings. So I would pull back a bit. But I did pick up the... Um, I love it when she was irreverent, joking. <laughs> she nakaka joke ng bastos and she gets away with it. I really, I really um, enjoyed that, those stretch of years. I'm very grateful. You know, if I think about it now, I'm super grateful I had three decades and some as a good friend to Lorraine. I really, I mean, I cherish those. Um, that's gone. <laughs> uh, I've mourned that. Uh, na, 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 Oh, but I'm super grateful I had that. But ngayon, wala nang space eh. There's no space for her in my world. And I don't think I have space in her world either. Mm-hmm. And this is what I mean by truth. And you say, hmm, sometimes they're not, di lang kami bagay. No? Mm-hmm. Sayang, no? Sayang, no? Yeah. Kasi yeah. feeling ko okay kami kung magiging magkakampi kami. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. uh, pero hindi. So. Yeah. Well, and you know, the reason, also one reason why I'm asking about this particular relationship is di naman kayo ganon ka unique of course there are unique very unique aspects of your relationship you know? but in terms of uh, you know uh, politics dividing families ah, you know, yeah. siblings not talking to each other anymore or children not you know not talking to their parents because of politics yeah. Yeah. I mean uh, madalas nangyayari ngayon yan because politics are so polarizing uh, these days, I mean, they've always been polarizing, but maybe because it's a lot of the disagreements have been magnified by social media and people feel so empowered yeah. to say anything they want. Whereas before, you know, they would just instead of, you know, they'd be, they'd be quiet about certain things. But now, no, you know, very few people are quiet about their opinions. Yeah. So, I also think because it became oh. about people, it became by people, I mean, it became about the the person. Uh, symbolizing certain sec- segments. So what do I mean? Mm-hmm. It's no longer about uh, movements or like human rights or making the mm-hmm. Philippines better or lessening our debt or paying our taxes. It mm-hmm. became about Lenny Bongbong or it became about v You know, it became about... The- and when there's a human face to it, we can't mm-hmm. help but feel being the cheerleaders of that person. And then the- I think that's what's divisive. But um, I think uh, on all political spectrum, Trump sides. Nobody will say naman that we don't want the Philippines to succeed. Parang, I, I think everybody will agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, even I sometimes even see the most uh, rabid of them are careful when they say when somebody says we all want what's best for the Philippines. Uh, I can see that they back they back off when they will agree. Na, oh, even the pinks. Hi, mga mm-hmm. pink. Gusto mag, parang, parang, ay, baka I'm being optimistic. Maybe I see the wrong. Mm-hmm. Maybe my algorithm is wrong. But I think we now have to figure out but what if we just focus on the take out all the names. How about that? Let's take out all the names and just discuss the <laughs> Maharlika Wealth Fund. Let's just take out all the names involved and talk about just what Angat Buhay does. Let's take out all the names and do discuss DepEd. Just DepEd. What's what's it doing? Tanggalin mo lahat ng, ng lahat ng pangalan involved. Baka we can find ano, a better conversation. But no, names are in and then emotions are in attached to the names we support. Colors are in and we have like raging feelings about these colors too. So, yeah, I think it becomes that. Uh, yeah. yung, yung politics in the house? I don't know. I <laughs> um, Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I was gonna go on another... Solidity, yeah, yeah. But... Well, yeah, we, we we can go back to it later. But I I want to ask you about your your varied career. No, you've you've worn <laughs> ma- ma- many hats. Nga. Um, 
uh, as I mentioned earlier, no, I mean, you know, one of the things you've done is you've you've helped make volunteerism uh, cool, no, through Rock Ed and <laughs> how it's responded to you know disasters, and now you're it's more it's gotten into you know mental health. You um, I, is is Project Steady a Rock Ed yeah. uh, project? No, uh, so you're making you're making mental health now a, a part of public conversations. But you know, you went to UP. You know, you, you played on uh, the varsity volleyball yeah. team. Okay, so you're sports-minded uh, uh, person. Then you went to the U.S. for a decade and I, I read that you became a barista, a journalist, among yeah. other things. You came home, became a radio show host. I, in fact, I guested on your, your show yes. uh, 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 years ago and then, you know, naging activista ka rin, no? For, you have, you've had various causes and now you're, uh, you've called, you call yourself a trauma therapist. That's your profession and you've gotten training for this, no? So, what what does... Ano yung main influence dito sa mga choices na to, no? I mean, uh, and how did you end up uh, doing what you're doing now? Why? Why? It mental, it why might, mental health. When the I don't think I don't think it'll surprise you, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, if you trace everything you just said about me, they're mm -hmm. all really leading to one general direction, which is that, uh, which is, we ma. I think I've been finding for myself a venue to ask my questions. So whether it's in politics, in it's in a, mm -hmm. it's in uh, the way sports are run, in taking care of our athletes. Lagging, lagi yata akong driven by. I have questions and I want a venue to ask these questions, and I want the venue to be um, hopefully not so divisive. Uh, it's, I'm not so divisive. I'm. I don't think so. I don't think I'm polarizing as a person, as you can see. Uh, if you're the youngest of a large family, you can't afford to be polarizing. You're flat, Sam. So in in my dunda ko ng galing eh. So I really always want to say that Rocket is a uh, an advocacy of questions and mental health. I ended up here not by way of uh, zigzag. Actually, I think it's a direct flight from asking about civic rights, civic engagement, participation, relevance, love of country, mingling culture, uh, music, film, art, definitely. It leads to my mental steadiness pala. Yun pala yung bottom line of this all. When I keep studying um, civil movement, political motions, leaders, it really goes back to mental health care, I think, from when they were young. Where did this thinking start? I thought in the uh, maximum security prison, diba? I was their art therapist for a long time, and basically I was their therapist. Oh, oh that's over, that's almost a decade. I, I know, Howie. I also learned the own a lot of criminal behavior, quote unquote, really came from lack of of mental health care, a lack of mental health guiding. Many crimes were done uh, on a spur of what I now look back and parang that was a manic episode. Parang that was a manic episode. Or, uh, <clears throat> let me go back. And now it's also um, majority of the, by criminal, I mean those who were caught and in jail. Mm. Not, I don't mean the large scale criminals who do systematic Grafta, uh, iba sila, ibang liga yon. Ito talaga yung mga na-arresto at na-jail. Na um, karamihan doon is lack of structure, lack of parenting. Pero la large percentage talaga is um, the incapacity to mentally and emotionally regulate themselves. So they react. Yeah. So so wh why did you end up doing that? Uh, you know, um, why? How how did this become a mission? No, I mean there there are a lot of sectors you could <laughs> you could focus on. I mean you could have you could have uh, spent a lot more time with orphans or the urban poor. Um, but you know you've made this a particular mission. No, uh, and uh, you've and, and in particular you're you've been uh, facilitating or teaching uh, creative writing uh, as yeah. a as a I guess a wellness strategy as a as a way of um, helping helping them uh, through through this kind of art, no. So. Uh, Alam mo, marami, why? marami ring nagtanong sa akin recently. But para sa tang pasyente mo mayaman, it's my heartbreak, ah, because they're the ones who can afford. Right, mm -hmm. that's first. But second, I do charge full rates so that each patient sponsors a public school teacher who can't afford to mm -hmm. pay. I have a socialized. Um, framework in my in our clinic mm. in our learning lab um <clears throat> how we <laughs> nari realize ko rin slowly many large things 
are decisions made by very few people in our lives. Whether it's the tycoon, it's the senate, it's the, I don't know. I realize now the eight that the lower the ano tawag doon yung sa sa, sa tatsulok uh, mm-hmm. talagang ang late konting konti lang yung nagde-decide for so mm-hmm. many mm-hmm. Uh, how we are employed mm-hmm. what kind of businesses come in there are few signatures that happened and then the whole call center uh, industry came in that's a great uh, example of how small a small group of people influenced the whole and then what happened nung nagka BPO na tayo meron ang Family Mart 7-11 nagka 24 hour businesses because of that. So what I mean is, I realized ko na sa lahat ng ginawa ko as a human rights activist, as a etc. It's in the hands of few. It's in the hands of very few people. Our fate sometimes is in the hands of very few people. And so I want to have more and more and more and more and more and more people who are mentally regulating who can make decisions not so much based on reflex from trauma. Hindi yung dahil nabully ako, makabully back ako. Gusto ko yata, narealize ko parang ito yata yung bottom line. Ito yata yung bottom line. Kahit lahat ng, ng uh, dictators, ng military rules, etc. If you look back in their in their life history, there really is something that may have gone unaddressed. A trauma that may have gone unaddressed. Parang hindi na-address. So, usually think it's unaddressed um, trauma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I, I just want to just share, no, because I did a documentary uh, that that um, made me that ha- where I had to go inside New Belibid and interview uh, inmates there, and I, I realized a vast majority of them uh, uh, did not finish uh, high even high school, and many yeah. many did not finish elementary school. Uh, and uh, many of them were illiterate, actually, couldn't read or write. So, parang wala sila masyadong options as a career <laughs> except crime, no? Um, I'm sure mental wellness had probably had something to do with it. Um, but uh, I guess if kundi ka nakapag aral, uh, even if you don't have you know mental health issues, uh, you could be mentally well. Uh, but if you don't, if you if you didn't graduate from elementary school, you don't know how to read or write. And someone says, "Oi, uh, isama ka sa amin, you know, you're you're gonna earn this much by doing this." Um, you know, it's very tempting, no? And then you end up in uh, prison. Um, so I guess that's um, and that's why there's, yeah, there's a, that's a, that's why also there's a literacy program there, it's a prison. No? Sorry, kaya sila yung nahuli at hindi yung mga boss nila. Can you see now? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, ah, sorry. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. But I, I want to ask you about um. Uh, one experience you had in in uh, teaching creative writing sa, sa prison. I mean, it's very admirable you're doing this. Uh, gosh, I'm very, I guess you'd be the only person doing this. I don't know if anyone else is. You and your group, I guess, no? Um, but sabi mo, tumigil ka nung napatay si Alex Chioseco and Alexis, his... Alexis. Alexis, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, tumigil ka sa iyong um, pagtuturo sa New Belibid Prison nung uh, napatay si Alexis Chuseco and his girlfriend uh, Nika uh, because you were you were I guess traumatized I guess is is one one way of describing it no um, and I remember I also knew Alexis no and uh, I wasn't as close to him as as you were uh, but I um, I know how you grieved you and uh, you know people like um, See si Erwin Romulo, you know he had a lot of friends. Uh, so how did you process that? And and I, I, eventually you went back to believe it, no? So you you were able to overcome. I did. Did you go through a period of anger as well, no? Uh, you were were you blaming people? Uh, you were you, you were blaming uh like like the criminal types. You mga tinuturo mo sa believe it. Is that was that part of your, your thought process there? Your reaction. You know, uh, bef- before the murders, so that's 2009. Uh, by, by the way, para lang malinaw, kaya ko lang pag-usapan yung murders ngayon without breaking down because mm-hmm. I did my work mm-hmm. over the 13 years to mm-hmm. get uh, to a calmer space about it. I'm not over mm-hmm. the murders and I have not moved on, whatever you mean mm-hmm. by that. Mm-hmm. I just can handle it more with mm-hmm. a calmer um, countenance. Tama ba yan? Mm-hmm. Mas kaya ko na siyang pag-usapan na hindi na mababasag. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, yes, yes. Pero for the first six years, hindi ko siya, napap- hindi ko siya pinag-uusapan yung murders ni Alexis at Nika. Para lang sa mga hindi familiar, meron na akong dalawang uh-huh. kaibigan na film critic um, na murder sila sa bahay nila sa Times Street. 
Mm-hmm. At ako yung nakita ko sila sa crime scene kung saan sila pinatay sa kitchen mm-hmm. nila. So yun acute trauma yun. So um clear case study ako of myself actually. Now you now you also know why I went and studied uh trauma recovery. Um anger okay. Bago noon nung buhay pa sila Alexis, natanungin ako lagi, bakit ka nagtuturo sa prison? Ba- parang sayang oras mo ay magturo sa children tra- teacher training. Mm-hmm. Bakit um criminals. Uh, ang sinasabi ko lagi at parang totoo naman. <laughs> parang parang hindi naman ako nag-lie nung tinanong ako. Ang sinasabi ko lagi ay kasi sila yung worst of us, quote unquote. At sila yung pinakamababang priority sa lipunan. So kung meron lang isang grupo kami, Rocket, na naglaan ng oras na they deserve education, they deserve to learn how to read even if hindi na sila makakalabas. Baka meron akong bar na ma-race sa buong lipunan. Na, naaakit din yung bar ng mga women and children and and men who are not criminals. Parang baka may aakit na bar. Parang yun yung uh, very idealistic. Kasi I was so young. <laughs> I was so young then. And then they say, but why believe it? And I say, I think I can afford to do this. Then when they say, what do you mean you can afford? I said, because I have never been a victim of a heinous crime. I have never been a victim of a crime. You know, I used to say that, Howie. I think I can afford kasi may bandwidth ako for it. Never pa ako na-victimize ng crime as we know it. And then when Alexis got murdered and Nika, I had to pause kasi parang yung hinahanap kong tao, the, of, the perpetrators of the murder, yung pinaka-ayo kong tao, I hate uh, murderers to begin with, mm-hmm. it, ito sila, ito sila, ito yung mga estudyante ko. Kasi alam ko yung mga estudyante ko, merong triple homicide, double homicide, etc., etc. But I always took it in stride, parang abstract siya sa akin. Pero nung nagka-friend na ako na, na murder, na-realize ko, sila to. So now, yung sinabi mo, did you have anger? Did you think it was them? Um, yes, alam mo, pag may nag-offend sa'yo, meron talagang taong who will remind you of it. So you also have to be careful na hindi sila yon Okay? I'll give you an example. Kung merong <laughs> nag-break ng heart mo na mestizo, <laughs> hindi lahat ng mestizo masama. Pero by instinct, ayaw mo na ng mestizo. Parang nakikita mo ba yun? So parang ganun. Um, did mm-hmm. I have anger? Um, yes, but my anger was mm, was in a prison. Parang it was everywhere, Howie. I was angry at Noy Noy, <laughs> who was a senator at the time. Because she lives six houses from you. It's in Times Street. Mm-hmm. I was angry at Whoever the mayor is of QC at that time, I was angry. Was it Herbert Bautista? I forget. I was angry at the justice system. I was angry at everyone. I wasn't sure who was. I was angry at walang na-arrest. Eh, sanay na sanay pa naman ako manood ng law and order tsaka CSI na nasosolve yung murder after one hour, di ba? So, yeah, that was, rough. that was really rough. I had to swim through uh, emotional muck <laughs> and a lot of uh, unsafe uh what do you call this uh, environment reactions grabe i i started to shut down but uh, i mean i still am shut down but i also learned that napaka liberating pala kapag ah oo naka um, it's so nakakapag palaya kapag na realize mo na hindi yung mga inmates ko ang nagcause ng pain or ng murder ni Alexis uh pwede ko siyang i-separate iba yon so i learned how to What's the word? Asintado with my anger. Oh, kasi when you're not aware and you don't work on it, galit ka sa lahat. So pag, pag masama yung, masama yung uh, mood mo, kahit sinong lumapit, galit ka sa lahat. Okay. May, may lubak, galit ka kay Bongbong. <laughs> uh, traffic, galit ka kay Bongbong. Umulan, galit ka kay Bongbong. Lahat, lahat president, galit ka kay GMA, galit ka kay Lenny, galit ka kay ano... Um, Napaka, uh, yun yung sinasabi ko para napakakalat ng energy of your anger. Pero kung matuto ka palang maging mas reflective and you pause and really observe everything, sana ko dapat, sana ko, sana ko dapat dalhin tong feelings na to. Kasi hindi siya lahat anger ah. Karamihan doon, grief, sadness, mm-hmm. hope. No, hindi, hindi siya laging anger. Pero dapat may pinupuntahan yun. Kasi kung kinimkim mo, dito ka nagkaka eczema, psoriasis, asthma. Minsan doon talaga galing kasi tatambay sa body mo yung feeling. At by the way, hindi ko siya pinag-uusapan na feeling na 
uh, magic ah. Ang mm-hmm. feelings kasi may may katumba siya na chemical in your body, mm-hmm. adrenaline, cortisol, mm-hmm. epinephrine, etc. So pag sinabi kong release ka ng release ng adrenaline tapos walang pinupuntahan, yun talaga halos mm-hmm. minsan nagiging um uh, high blood pressure or low blood pressure whichever the direction is, mm-hmm. high mm-hmm. insulin tapos nagiging habits. Iinom ka or kakain ka ng super dami or nag hindi ka nababangon. So, see, nag, nag, nag-give birth yung feelings mo into behavior, tas nagiging uh, illness no? sa pag hindi ka mag-exercise o hindi ka mag-et cetera. So, can you see the connection? Yeah. Hindi siya feelings equals illness, ha? It's mm-hmm. feelings equals <laughs> equals um, mood equals behavior tapos nagiging pag may behavior na chronic, hindi ka nag-exercise, hindi ka kumakain ng maayos, hindi ka natutulog ng maayos, yun yung nagiging disease. So, hindi it's actually science-based na your feelings cause you ill. <laughs> I was, I was. In fact, nag-come to a head lahat sa akin, Howie, nung, oh, how do I say this? Nang nari murders 2009, I think nag-deep, deep depression ako 2015. Kasi dun din nawawala ng memory yung mami ko. Yun yung years na yun. Mm-hmm. So feeling ko, nung nawawala yung mami ko, buhay pa mami ko, birthday nga niya. Buhay, um, nung nawawala yung mami ko, alertness-wise, kasi hindi niya nakikilala, dun ko na-feel yung <laughs> five years ago na murders na hindi na parang dun ko siya na naramdaman for the first time. Kasi nung right after the murders, I was just, um, what's the word? Um, being busy. <laughs> parang busy busy ako with all my projects para hindi ako magluksa. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, Nag- yeah. Nangyayari ba sa, yoyo, sa inyo yun uh, for people listening? I, I'd rather be busy than grieving. <laughs> mas gusto ko nang bising busy ako kaysa naglulok sa ayoko maramdaman yung feeling so busy ka yeah. does it make sense ah, well, yeah, yeah yeah well it's a common strategy sometimes you don't have any option di ba rather than just feeling yeah. sad at home lalo na like if you lose a loved one di ba minsan ganun eh you know you people some people go back to work right away and then and then, yeah, uh, and then the friends will <laughs> and the, then yeah, I the friends will say oh that's his way of dealing with it that's his way of coping di ba oh wala namang isang rule oh, pero ang sasabihin ko lang kakachap lagi Laging magka-catch up. So, maglaan ka na rin ng oras kung kaya for it mm-hmm. to accommodate mm-hmm. it. Kasi nakakatakot pag ginulat ka ng, ano, pag ginulat ka ng grief. <laughs> Akagulat yeah. lang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, pwede, and then, and pwede, pwede ka palang gulatin years later, no? Yes! Uh, oh my gosh. Kasi, very, oh, kasi ang, th- ang usual notion is, it, you know, grief is immediate, di ba? It's something you experience yes. immediately and then, it just, you know, you you learn how to cope with it uh, as time passes. Yan yung sinasabi ko kanina. Kasi sabi mo kanina, you, many people think grief is immediate, but sometimes gugulatin ka kahit 10 years from now. Yan yata yung sinasabi ko na, ah, itong Christmas na to, masaya pa tayo na we can come out mm-hmm. from the pandemic. But many years from now, I think makikita mo yung effect sa'yo. Does this mm-hmm. make sense? So, yeah. uh, time. I, I, Kaya trauma and time is always um, two things you have to consider whenever you're studying one or the other. Oh, oh, but but you know, pa- the passage of time is not necessarily a Healing? cure. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Can I tell you why? Can mm. I tell you why? Mm. Di ba you always say time heals all wounds? Ten years na. Mm. Ina masadong mahapde yung death kasi ten years na. Ah, uh, hindi yun totoo. <laughs> Nasabi ko siya kung bakit. Pag may na experience kang karumal dumal, which is death, loss, loss of a job, betrayal. Merong part sa brain mo na nag-o-off. Okay? Meron talaga. And I'll tell you what that is. It's your frontal lobe. Bakit? Ang nag re sa brain mo yung defensive part. Like, I'm in danger. Mabibilis ako tumakbo. I mean, ito rin yung adrenaline na nakakalift ka ng heavy stuff pag, ano eh, pag may fire. Okay? Ano yung nag-o-off? Kasama sa na nag-o-off yung dorsolateral frontal cortex. You don't need to remember that. But yun yung part na very, very time-aware. Okay? So, itong time aware, very aware of, it's no, it's December, it's 9.30pm, it's uh, Tuesday or whatever it is. Nag-o-off yun. Nag-o-off. So, minsan, pag may nag-trigger sa'yo, hindi mo alam kung anong time. This is exactly what I mean by kahit 50, 52 years old ka na, pag may tita ka na dumating at sinabi, gang medyo tumaba ka, wala, 8, 11 years old ako ulit. As, yung sakit sa akin is, ah, Kasi walang walang object of time. Hindi na hindi ako na nare, hindi ni remind ng brain ko na uy 40 years ago pa niya sinabi yun matanda ka na may achievement ka na okay na may aso ka ng maganda. No, the pain feels like you're nine again. This also explains why you can see the most intelligent CEO achieving strong person pero pag heartbroken parang teenager. 
Kasi yung memory ng heartbreak ko, hindi na hindi na iintindihan ng puso na na CEO na siya or etc. Yung heartbreak is the same as when you were young kasi it there's a time trauma relationship eh na uh, bumabalik ka talaga sa dati pag may makita kang teacher ulit from high school at sinabihan ka ulit ng parang oh nagyoyosi ka. <laughs> Babalik ka ulit sa high school, kakabahan ka ulit eh. I mean, anybody, dati sumisnili ako ng iko, si Sarah Cole, nakita ko yung principal namin, tinapot ko. Parang out of anything. I keep forgetting na I'm old, I'm a grown-up, I can actually smoke in front of anyone. But you have instincts. Meron kang reflex. Kasi, kasi hindi umaandar yung clock ng trauma. Pag may large feeling ka, nagsistay doon. So mahalaga na balikan mo at i-remind mo sarili mo na gang, 50 years old ka na, kaya mo na to, na-handle mo na to, hindi ka 18 years old na walang alam. You can do this. Yeah. So you have to remind yourself mm-hmm. where you are, mm-hmm. how old you are already. Kasi a lot of our feelings will come back and it we will feel it like we're children again. When your boyfriend or your girlfriend doesn't pick you up on time and you're waiting, you're already feeling abandoned. That's nine year old you. Na na late sinundo sa school. Yeah. We, 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 all, we all go through that, no matter how old we are. Oh, right? sabi mo, yeah, 30 yeah. years old na ako at may traffic sa EDSA. Hmm. Pero hindi, asa ng brain mo? Hindi ako mahal. Hmm. Di ba? Andun ka, andun ka na kaagad eh. That's what I, 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 wanna, I wanna ask you again about trauma no uh, you know uh, many of us have gone through trauma i mean just being locked down and not being able to live a normal life was traumatic for a lot of people ako yung experience ko you know i was an early covid patient no so Ayaw. i felt i felt traumatized oh, yeah I, I yeah we're almost at the same time diba uh, i spent 11 days in in the hospital and many days late after that at home isolated no so uh, I started thinking, baka na may PTSD ako, no? yung post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. Uh, so I started reading up on it. But what what was um, interesting about my reading was meron palang phenomenon na uh, PTG or, or post-traumatic growth, growth no? yung growth, meaning something more positive, a good outcome of trauma. I mean, usually you think of PTSD. I mean, kami mga journalists, you know, we cover a war, so we we're very conscious na, oh, baka may na-traumatize yeah. ako from seeing, you know, all yeah, these people yeah, yeah. getting killed, etc. Well, parang ganun din ang COVID, parang gera din yan, ano? So, oh. um, but meron pa lang post-traumatic growth, no, na, na you know, and, and maybe it's an, maybe an improvement in your life or an improvement of your personality after you've processed your trauma. Um, yeah. anong, anong thoughts mo about that? Okay, yung pinaka-interesting part ng PTSD, yung P, yung post. Kasi nangyayari yung distress, tapos na. Okay, and I'll tell you why it's post. Um, When you're running away from a lion, you're just focused on running. And then you climb up a tree. And then there's a lion down there, right? <laughs> and then you're saying, yeah, now I'm safe from the lion, yay. Ah, pagka exhale mo, dito ka na mag-iisip paano ko mahulog yung trip, paano ko nakaka-climb yung lion, paano mm. kung ano, dito ka na mag-worry. Ito yung PTSD. Mm. When you're already safe, that's when you feel the PTSD. So you get it in your room, before you sleep, in your dreams, while you're eating, when you hear fireworks in New Year's, lalo na if you have trauma from the war, um, tandaan mo inaral yung PTSD post-Vietnam War. So talagang yung large... Uh, what's the word? Yung N nila during the N equals nila sa research is halos lahat veterans. So we all think it's about these large things like war, but all of us have PTSD with uh, not only with the acute lar- capital T traumas, but even the small traumas. Um, Howie, trauma is not the bad thing that happens to you like during Christmas or not. It's actually also the good things that never happen. Mm-hmm. That's also traumatic. Yung chronic year after year may mga good things na hindi nangyayari that you expect. Um, let's say your dad remembering your birthday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ala tabang trauma ko yun. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ko. Parang hindi man. So now I over-celebrate my birthday. So may uh, for me, may growth done for me. So post-traumatic <laughs> growth yun. My my dad used once, just once naman, forgot my birthday and I got traumatized, etc. Mm. So, and then you talk about post-traumatic growth. How do I feel about that? It's absolutely true. Okay. When you have a traumatic experience, yung trauma nun is ano yung ugali mo after dahil dito? For example, naputokan ka ng paputok during uh, New Year's. Ngayon, pag may bumusina lang, eh, ang bilis mo magulat. Okay, yun yung PTSD, yun yung mm-hmm. symptom, symptom na mm-hmm. meron kang may lamat, may naiwan sa'yo. Uh, how do we address that? 
uh, paano siya nagiging gross? Depende sa decision how you want to cope from there. So, ah, uh, If I got heartbroken on Christmas, let's say, binrekan ako ng first boyfriend ko Christmas, although hindi naman ako naka-experience nun, pero magandang example siya. Binrekan ako ng boyfriend ko ng Christmas, malungkot na ako every Christmas. Okay, or ayoko na mag-boyfriend after Christmas. Or kung mabilumiligaw sa akin, sasagutin ko na lang January. No? Nakikita mo ba kung gano'y yung last boyfriend betrayal na yun makes me change my decisions. I change my decision. Gusto ko nang magka-boyfriend January na or ayoko. Right? So, but, A growth can be, many ways, you can face it and actually have a boyfriend again on Christmas and say, whoa, and then you get to exercise it. Or you follow the safety feeling, which is, no, I'll feel safer if we just uh, commit after January. That's fine too. That's mm-hmm. fine too. That's still growth for me. That's still growth for me, okay? So the growth happens, Howie, as you are coping when you make different decisions. Howie, you could have opted to couch potato. Mm-hmm. eat unhealthily you could have opted to just lie down and retire and just watch netflix and get out of shape but you had decisions along the way that involved plants biking keeping in shape being healthy etc so you had every you had the whole spectrum of choices mm-hmm. you know but because you were traumatized by illness you realized i want to be healthy uh but your mortality stared you in the face i don't want to die yet i want to be around for alum i want to be around for epat so you make all these decisions Now, not everybody has the same fortitude as you. There are some people who really take to the bottle, be uh, reckless, and say, oh, what the hell, I'll bungee jump because then you only live one. Meron ganon. It's fine. And no one can say which one is wrong. I'm just saying we generally make decisions towards what will make us feel safest. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, okay. ng coping mechanism natin, in fact, sometimes even our bad decisions, we make those decisions because we feel safest. there. Let me give you an example. Um, Manawi, since we were talking about family, she stayed, she's not reappointed, right, to NTFL ka, but she stayed mm. with SMNI, tama ba, with Kivoloy and etc. Mm, oh, oh. That, that decision, if you look at it, you're like, why did she stay with that? Mm. I mean, uh, but maybe with all the court cases, it might feel, I'm just analyzing this without feeling it, it feels safest for her to be in the company of somebody who is wanted by the FEBI <laughs> but not behind bars. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Well, she's the safest in the company who is also in a some somewhat similar predicament but is somehow thriving. Does this make sense? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't blame her. I don't even think many of their decisions are political or anything. Sometimes 90% of our decisions mm-hmm. is we do that because that's where we feel safest. Mm-hmm. That's where we feel safest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we need to add that there are coping mechanisms that are not safe, that are actually, actually oh, dangerous? No, wow, drinking, nice. drugs, uh, uh, oh my you gosh. know, uh, uh, porn, kind of uh, promiscuity, mga ganyan, yeah. No? Uh, uh, Wow, yeah, actually, buti lang bringing up ito kasi 99% I think of coping mechanisms that are by reflex, yung automatic, um, halos lahat hindi healthy. Halos lahat hindi healthy. Pero meron din healthy coping mechanism. Ma. Meron din. Mm. Uh, actually, marami. Pero yung, yung um, the reason why we turn to substance, like, inom, uh, sabog, uh, ano ba ba? Uh, porn, or, uh, 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 romance. Or it, could, or, it could, or it could be something more innocent, like just overeating, or just being, yeah, overeating, or, overbuying, or just keeping your, or being by yourself all the time. Uh, yes, yes. Parang ganun, uh, no? Or, uh, Or uh, over shopping, like a retail. Yeah, over shopping. Oh, oh, going into debt, gambling. Gambling yeah, is yeah. major. I'll, I'll tell oh. you why. Yeah, mm. mm, coping. Ah, uh, gambling. Sorry, how do I say this? Ah, uh, alcohol and drugs. So, e kumpul natin siya under substance. Substance as coping mechanism. Um, I can understand. But I don't excuse it, by the way, and I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't advise it. I can understand why people turn to substances because mm-hmm. truth is unbearable for them. Halimbawa. Uh, if you have a parent who is um, incestuous, and that totoo yun, I mean, those things mm-hmm. are real, mm-hmm. and a parent who is um, deliberately mean, unbearable yun for anyone, unbearable. So you'd mm-hmm. rather be drunk. You'd rather be stoned than in a sober state of mind thinking, my dad is an awful person, or my mom is mean, or my parents stole from tax money, or, you know, it's so hard, or my, our wealth, our family wealth is from the people of whatever province. Mm-hmm. Ang hirap nun. so you will turn. Now, now that, that's because 
numbing ang alcohol at at um, drugs okay uh, let's set that aside yung mga iba na addict sa uh, sports like the extreme sports like biking like and then you get so fatigued because you're biking 100 kilometers uh, hindi lagi ya uh, everybody who is in the in the extreme sports they're not all traumatized i'm just saying some uh-huh. some do that's one way of that. dealing with it uh-huh. one way of dealing with it because you are exhausted by 6 p.m. Uh-huh. and you just pass out so wala uh-huh. kang bandwidth with mind space to ruminate or be anxious okay ano po yung sinabi mo kanina porn that's an easy explanation uh, something something that's seemingly harmless like shopping but it gets you into debt. Okay, mm-hmm. when you shop and you click add to cart and you're waiting mm-hmm. for a gift, mm-hmm. grabe yung dopamine hit nun. Kasi one, mm-hmm. I am still able to buy, click, meaning I'm not poor. Uh, I'm not I'm not bankrupt pala. I am poor but I'm not bankrupt. I'm not, I'm not bankrupt. Click. And then it's delivered to you here. Mm-hmm. But that's really just 10 minutes, you know. I mean, that's the maximum 10 minutes of joy. But it gave you a sense of control. So that's why online shopping was super comforting over the pandemic. Because I cannot go to the mall, but I can still buy my shoes. Right? So, so there's a control thing. I mean, that's that's a comforting when you have some control. What do I mean by control? Uh, man lang yung gears. When you're driving, if you ever experience driving, uh, yung wala nang kumakagat. <laughs> Just mm. kind of step sa, mm-hmm. sa gas, hindi na kumakagat yung mm. gear. Ito somehow may kumakagat pa. So you kind of mm. like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you say? The, uh, uh, food. Uh, if you grew up with a relationship of food in the house where food is the reward, then that's comforting for you. It's kind of love. I think many of us have a relationship with candy, chocolate, sugar, because mm-hmm. when we were young and we were rewarded, it was mm-hmm. candy. You're brave. You were so brave in the dentist. They give you candy. I mean, they never said, wow, congratulations, Howie. You're so good with the dentist. I'll give you carrots. Parang nobody. It wasn't a reward in our head, you know? The rewards in our head look like cupcakes and, you know, they really, we make each other. So we grew up with that. So nagiging coping mechanism natin siya na, I will buy myself my own cake, I'll buy myself my own sugar, and I'm comforting myself um, mm-hmm. to cope with this, I'd rather be lonely. You know, another coping mechanism is uh, constantly dating, like what Tinder, I'm very addicted. Uh, mm-hmm. That's usually coping for loneliness sometimes. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you're just curious or a combination of both. I don't know. But yeah, are there healthy coping mechanisms? Yes. All of us, we will have some form of addiction. It doesn't matter what it is. You will have some form of addiction, whether it's exercise, etc. I really just need you to choose what you want to be addicted mm-hmm. to. Na lang. Yun na lang. Yeah. Kasi we yeah. all have an instinct for this. Mm-hmm. We all have an instinct for this. So I'm very happy with the Plantito movement. Plantita movement. I'm very happy with the people learning how to bake bread. Mm-hmm. Okay, ako doon. Go. Parang you, I spent so much for soap materials. Okay na ako doon. Kaysa naman cocaine, di ba? Or kaysa yeah. naman maadik ako sa power na kung ano-anong ginagawa ko para lang I stay relevant, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's an addiction too. So mm-hmm. I I always like it when there are other things that your hands are doing, like writing, etc. Kasi... We all have to kill minutes. So you might as well choose what you have to spend time with. Well, so, well, yun. Okay, how about social media? No, I mean, it's being blamed oh. for a lot of things. Uh, uh, how does it affect wellness? And uh, does going through a social media detox, you know, I mean, leaving social media for a while, does it help? Will it help? Can it help <laughs> mental wellness, when, mental health? Any restraint, any restraint from an abused and overly used substance will will generally always help because because it will give you a pause. Yeah, yeah. So you know, that's as far as it goes mm-hmm. for me. Um, how do I say this? Uh, the danger for me is that what when we see something, it's true. Uh, you know, we have this saying: "Seeing is believing." I'll believe it when I see it. There's always a saying. Because when we see something, it's really our truth. It becomes our truth. So, you know, in real time, we see people on vacation in France, in etc. And um, if you're not as socially, what's the word? Um, economically comfortable enough mm-hmm. to travel, there really is a, you know, um. Am I saying we stop looking? No, I'm still. I think I'm saying is we must look with less. Um, sorry, sorry, with less. Um, how do I say it? Sajain mo naman yung pina process mo. Okay, wag mo lang siya absorb Um, wait, I lost. I lost the word. Sorry. Okay, when people get really into K drama, you know, you know, or into BTS and etc. Uh, over the pandemic, we saw this. 
and I think it kept many many people's spirits up. Uh, I I have no problem with that. I do have a problem if you binge, and hindi mo napansin sunrise na. May problema ako don. Pero pag sinayang mong manonood ako ng K-drama, six episodes Saturday kasi wala akong gagawin ng Sunday, okay pa rin ako don. May problema ako kung tinuloy-tuloy mo yung K-drama tapos hindi mo napakain yung aso nyo o hindi mo napakain yung bata, yung anak mo or something. So it's not so much the substance. I think it's how it interferes with your daily duties and obligations. Does this even make sense? Mm -hmm. So uh, I won't vilify. I won't even vilify beer or wine or alcohol or cigarettes. I'll vilify if it gets in the way of your daily duties and obligations mm -hmm. and you drop people yeah. who rely on you uh, for presence, for love, for resources. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I have a problem with that if mm -hmm. you drop it. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think cold turkey... Um, mm -hmm. For some, it works, huh? but generally for me, cold turkey will be <laughs> you'll come back with a vengeance because mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. yun nature of physics, yun, eh, mm -hmm. that's, that's the, the longer you stretch a rubber band, parang, parang, yeah. I think it's just it's physics, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I really am more, uh, I'm a fan of, please remember this, as a mental health clinician, I need to tell everyone, you have to have a bias for slow recovery. You have to resist the temptation of quick resolve, quick mm -hmm. solutions. This weekend, join this with the Lord, and then by Monday, you'll be fine. You, you're going to have to be very, very skeptical of those because it will mm -hmm. take time. It will really take time, years, mm -hmm. every day. Like, what did I say earlier? I have no decision regarding my half-sister, no matter how public it's been. Every day you can ask me and I may have a different answer. It's not because I'm wishy-washy. It's because humans are really dynamic and it will take time. What I do know is, <laughs> whenever I'm really annoyed at whatever antics my sister does, it doesn't naman get in the way of my duties and day <laughs> obligations. Mm -hmm. I still feed the dog and mm -hmm. I have dinner with Jay and we have breakfast mm -hmm. and I I make coffee. Um, when it gets in the way of that, yun, yun feeling a good indicator yun this holidays. If you feel like you're feeling the blues, mm -hmm. check. Uh, did you shower? <laughs> did mm -hmm. you toothbrush? Etc. But don't skip these tiny things because indicator yun na it got in the way. The blues got in the way. Mm -hmm. You can feel the blues. Mm -hmm. You can feel the mm -hmm. sadness. But mm -hmm. but show up. Show up for yeah. yourself. You know, mm -hmm. show up for others. Like. Mm -hmm. For lunch, you know, be there. Okay, for... well, speaking of the blues, no? Because a major source of stress for a lot of people uh, these days and maybe for all time is politics. No? Nakaka-stress yan. Iniisip mo yung ginagawa ng gobyerno, etc. Or yung kandidato mo hindi nanalo and you're still grieving, uh, etc. No? So, um, how would you answer this question? Anong pag-asa ng Pilipinas? Kailangan yata ibahin ng... Konte. Sorry, pwede ko ba siyang i-English ng <laughs> tuloy-tuloy? Yeah, yeah. Okay lang. Oh, and... uh, sorry, ang first thought ko sa English eh, tapos itatranslate ko siya. Ha? Bisaya kasi ako mag-isip minsan. <laughs> um, we need to redefine what pag-asa ng Pilipinas means. Ano yung itsura nun? Kasi I think if we have a fixed a picture of what may pag-asa pa ba looks like, then we'll really fall short. So I think yung mga maliliit na things pag-asa, so re to, your, to redefine pag-asa is the first step for me. Uh, dati akala ko ang pag-asa ay uh, manalo yung presidente na, na sinaport ko. Now that I look back, I'm looking at, oh, even if pala may candidate won, <laughs> I think ang pag-asa dito ay kung treated fairly ang teachers. Parang yun pala yung, iba pala yung indicators ko ng pag-asa. So ang pag-asa ng Pilipinas, tingin ko, ay by barangay. Okay lang ba sabihin yun? Wala, wala pala siya sa national scale. I mean, I was looking at it wrong, I think. For me, I could be very wrong. Uh, ang pag-asa yata ay nasa barangay. It doesn't matter who the president is, pero gusto ko sana by barangay nagbabantayan tayo. So, uh, it starts with you, really. You must try to uh, be a safe space for your neighbor. Uh, if the child of your neighbor is a street and in danger, you, can, you know, you are here, you keep each other safe. So, and we start with a small barangay. I think every elections kasi nagkaka-error, hindi naman error, nagkaka-larger view tayo. So yung mga lenses ng like, ano, political brain natin lagi lumalawak. So akala natin it was about Lenny Bongbong Isko. Uh, but actually, nakalimutan, nakalimutan mo ba pag magkabaha, magka-earthquake, yung barangay, captain mo yung nandun for you. So 
Bak, ang pag-asa ng Pilipinas ay nasa barangay. Kung i-change na, i-clear, clearly tignan mo dito and every barangay looks at it, uh, I think even national leadership will follow. I feel like parang nakatingin tayo sa taas eh, thinking that it will, because there is such a thing as allegedly gravity, it might go, you know, the leadership sterlingness might crawl down. Pero um, we're, we're, we're 7,000 islands. I really think we should remember this all the time. It's really by by the small units na So ang pag-asa ng Pilipinas tingin ko nasa barangay, ang pag-asa ng Pilipinas nasa nasa individual mamamayan at um at ang pag-asa ng mamamayan ay nasa mental health niya. Kung makaka-regulate siya ng moods, mm-hmm. ng emotions, mm-hmm. ng reactions. At in, ayoko kasing pagbawalan yung mga taong mag-isip ng political <laughs> thoughts. Uh, hindi hindi natin kaaway ang politics at hindi hindi politics ang source of stress politics actually is what can change a nation it's the fastest agent na pwedeng mag-change ang problema yata is how we were looking at it parang i think we think we see it with uh it's almost like it's religion like there's so much feelings regarding our politics you have to look at politics as a way of hiring housekeepers for our institutions uh politics and government is one large complex housekeeping you must have SSS, GSIS for the members. You must have people who build bridges, schools, etc. It's really giving us services. It's not um, hope or the fire of the nation. That's in poets. I think that's in poetry, in film. In Look, look to the poets. Look to the songwriters. Pero pagdating sa politiko, look to them like you're hiring a, a, a service uh, from them. Uh, parang you're hiring an employee. Ganun dapat yung tingin natin. Hindi hindi sila yung idol natin or source of patriotism or dreams for the country. Uh, feeling ko yung ganun dapat ano eh, yung makata, yung artist, yung poet. Pagdating sa politics, mag, magtal, mas, sige magtalo tayo as in let's argue. Sino yung mas magaling na nag-provide ng public school service? Sino mm-hmm. nag, mas magaling? Oh, <laughs> parang you have to remember. And in, in English ko ha, teka. What house, for... Housekeeping on a large scale. <laughs> elaborate, elaborate, magnificent housekeeping. That's really government. You know, it's not source of patriotism or anything. So when we argue, we're going to be like two hosts of house owners. And I'm saying, I want to hire this helper more. Oh, but this one knows how to cook chicken. Oh, but I like this one. So you check check your priorities. Ako, priority ko, malinis. Yung priority ni Jay, malurong magluto ng chicken. So mag-argue kami, sinong i-hire namin? Anong priority mo? Ako, priority ko, DOH, DepEd. Mamaya na yung iba. For me, ah, para may sige, mm, din na muna. Mm, din na muna tayo. Sino mm, yung pinakamakaka-provide ng health? Kasi we were coming from a pandemic at that time. Mm-hmm. And then, DepEd. Paano makokontinue at masasalo yung education from the pandemic? So, iniisip ko lagi, sino yung may best plan for DOH and DepEd? And then, mag- magtalo tayo. Mag- tayo magtalo about Bongbong Lenny. Pink, yellow, blue, Marharlika. Magtalo tayo sa... SSS and GSIS funds hindi dapat binibigay sa etc. <laughs> I told you, and I'll go back, it's the same with mental health. Try to take out the names and then just discuss the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? Kasi mm-hmm. even if it's your beloved Lola, but your beloved Lola said that your African-American friend is negro at ayoko siya sa bahay ko, kahit beloved Lola po pa yun, kailangan mo aminin, oh, that was wrong. That was wrong by itself. They're really, uh, it doesn't excuse. And I cannot say he means, she means, well, she's just a woman of her generation when she became racist to my friend. I can't, I have to say, I'm not going to put up with this. I won't bring my friend to my Lola. Now, do I need to fight my Lola and try to correct her? Baka no na. Maybe no. I don't need to. Leave it be. <laughs> Kasi, you know, I chose my war. Parang ganun. I'll choose my war here. But does it, does it make sense to you? We, we, can't, we can't keep forgiving Kasi, and sometimes we forgive. Well, because... okay. Well, well, fighting is 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 one thing. No? But how about trying to enlighten uh, the narrow minded? Uh, <laughs> Wait, ma- kasi, <laughs> racism. Because it could be assumption narrow- that you are not narrow minded. You're assuming they're narrow minded, right? Mm-mm. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Well, you. I mean, I like to think that being racist is a form of narrow mindedness, diba? You're not open to other races. Kaya ka naging racist. Uh, okay. Okay. Is that a fair yeah. assumption? Fair, fair, okay. Yeah. What if you want to engage but because you want to enlighten? Is that what your question is? Yeah, not fight, not argue, but um, you know, just talk, talking about 
uh how how society has progressed no i mean it's <laughs> yeah. uh you know uh, a black you know the us which is has historically racist has had a black president i mean i mean <laughs> nagbago na yung mundo uh, lola uh, hindi na uso yung mga ganyang pananaw <laughs> okay uh, i'll go back ha babasa i'll go back to what i said earlier you you're going to have to read the room may history ba yung lola mo na nakikinig mm-hmm. kasi kung wala wag na Oh. Seriously, I mean it's it's that simple. Pero kung nakita na witness mo na siya at some point na may consider, may pinakinggan, then take the shot, sure. Mm. Sure. Pero kung, kung all evidence points to hindi na nangyayari to, mm-hmm. wag na. Wag na. I really think your energy is finite. Um mm-hmm. you really have to remember it's 24 hours mm-hmm. a day that's all you get. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. save the energy. We're all running on mm-hmm. A gas tank. We have everything. I also think um, we waste a lot of energy. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we, okay. You mag, you, yeah. You mag, you mag ganyang incident, no? I mean, it, it, it could happen uh, anytime and it will cause us stress. And there's so many other situations where, where we feel uh, anxious, no? Nagkakaroon tayong anxiety. Uh, attack even in not, not maybe they couldn't be they don't have to be tra- uh, described as traumatic necessarily but halimbawa just feeling anxious before you face a big crowd to speak no so i know you've talked about um relaxation techniques in particular you've said na uh, overlooked and underappreciated yung breathing <laughs> the value of breathing and regulating breathing and you know breathing exercises i want to end this way gang no i we've kept uh, you, <laughs> you, you kept you too long no but uh, every time you ask a difficult question i inhale, <laughs> I inhale. okay <laughs> well yeah maybe maybe you can remind us uh, of how important uh, breathing is of course we know this um in, 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 intrinsically you know but um may may sinabi ka sa isang um lecture na napakinggan ko no, no? ah yeah ano uh, 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 you 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 exhale uh longer, longer than you inhale than you. um I'm sure there's a science behind that, but yes, maybe yes. maybe we can end this way. Maybe you can guide us, guide our listeners through a simple oh, no. breathing, <laughs> breathing exercise. I mean, how do you, how do we use breathing as a way of calming our nerves, calming or addressing a particular anxiety? You know, uh, making us think before we react rashly. You know, before oh. we we before we quarrel with our lola over <laughs> some tactless remark or some some unthi- or an unthinking comment we hear at the reunion iba um uh, uh, ma- as- mo marinig yan eh. breathe deeply before you ano before you before you act <laughs> diba okay teka lang yung breathe deeply uh iba pa yon <laughs> iba yon <laughs> kasi tandaan kung tingin mo maalala mo every time hindi ba tatalon ka sa swimming sa diving board ba na mataas mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. inhale bakit kasi pag nag-inhale ka Ano yun? Buelo. You're ready for a fight. Okay. Ang exhale yung relax. When do you when do you exhale? Pag may buntong hininga. Pag tapos ka na magbuhat ng gamit. Pag... O kaya, yun din ang yun eh. Lalang tapos na. Right? Pero ang inhale makes you alert. Right? So when you, maling-mali yung inhale tapos magpa-injection. Alam mo ba sa vaccination? Kailangan, oh, inhale. Di ba gaganan yung nurse bago ka bakunahan? Mm-hmm. Pagka inhale mo, pagka 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 hinold mo yung breath mo kasi, mas masakit. Pag in, in injection ka na, dahil you're holding your breath, you have no choice but to exhale. Mm-hmm. So pa exhale ka habang sinusundutan ka ng bakuna, nagre-relax yung mm-hmm. body mo while you exhale. Kaya very wise yung inhale and then exhale during the painful part. So why? Kasi inhale is buelo. Like you see Heidelin. Mm-hmm. Kailan siya nag-ano? Pagpabuhat na. Right? Okay, so I'll tell you why. Naalala mo ba, Howie, nung bata ka, pag umiiyak ka, tas kahit one hour after, meron kang... <laughs> Di ba may ganun ka? Have you ever cried so long na after you 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 cried? <laughs> Minsan kumakain ako ng lunch. Humihi, ano, humihikab pa rin ako. That's mm-hmm. actually your brain saying, we need more oxygen. We need more oxygen. Uh, tsaka your brain is saying, safe na tayo. Na tayo. Okay, so when you're really in trouble, like pumunta ka sa party kasi kala mo wala dun yung ayaw mo makitang lola, tapos dumating yung lola, nandun ka pa sa kotse, try mo talaga yung 
dalawang inhales. Yung inhale ka ng super lakas, hold it, try mo mag-inhale pa a bit more, sagarin mo, para mahabang mahaba yung relax. So try natin na inhale super sagad, hold and inhale pa a bit more, kung kaya mo, send through the mouth. If you're in private, you can make noise. Ah. Ganyan, you can make noise. <laughs> is, it better, is it better to breathe through the mouth or the nose? Inhale no nose, exhale mouth. But then, that's for the emergency. But then for to calm down and if you have enough time, no, no, nose is, is okay too. I only like mouth kasi it makes you count mm -hmm. and it makes you feel kung sagad ka na, kung flat na, flat na. So, ubusin mo. So, usually, twice as much. Inhale four counts, exhale eight. If you inhale three, exhale six. Kailangan mas marami yung exhale kasi mm. it's the long exhale that sends a signal that you, to your brain that we are now relaxing and we are now safe. Kasi yung... Um, you know, kadalasan, yung buntong hininga natin, we're not thinking of it. It just comes. Um, you know? Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Your body knows what to do. You just forget. Before we go, I want to remind everybody over the holidays, listen to your body. What does that mean? Ito ha, when you're sleepy and you can sleep, sleep. Yung wala ka naman deadline, wala naman infant, ganyan. Kung, kung anto ka na, ride with the sleepy. Ano, when you're hungry, eat. Okay? Kasi minsan, you're hungry, you're actually not hungry. <laughs> Kasi kung gutom ka talaga, pwede ka kumain ng okra uh, or you know vegetables <laughs> uh -huh. pero pag sinabi ko gutom na gutom ako gusto mo na okra ayoko gusto ko cupcake o hindi ka talaga gutom okay. iba yung iba yung need mo at this point kasi kung gutom ka talaga kahit ano pwede so when you're sleepy please if you can and the circumstances allow you please sleep when you're hungry and the circumstances allow you please please um please eat Wag mong hintayin na uhaw ka before drinking. Is that okay to say that? But then if you feel thirsty, please, by all means. That means 30 minutes ago ka pa dapat uminom, actually. Medyo delayed yung thirst ano eh, um, signals. But anyway, when you're thirsty, eat. Now, what happened to us over the years, I'm not sure. When we're sleepy, we don't sleep. Why? Because I need to have a, I need to study and I need to be sumakum laude. So we go against our bodies. And then when you're hungry, I won't eat. Why? Because I want to be skinny. So we go against our bodies, but your body, it only wants to protect you. Your body is this, our bodies designed yan to keep you healthy. In fact, when you feel anger, whenever I feel anger, like towards, let's say, my half sister, when she says something and she does something, <laughs> I don't even think it's a feeling. I think it's additional data for me to say, mm, I think she's invading my space, which I, which I, really protect. Mm, I think she's invading the space wherein I believe in human rights, whether you're a terrorist or not. So, eh, additional data ang feelings. Ah. So, mm. <laughs> and then incorporate it into your uh, decision, your next decision. Do I post today? Do I not post today? Do I use a bad word? Do I not? Mm. Right? So, uh, all your feelings, love, disgust, anger, pecon, that's additional data given to you by your brain to make the next decision. Why am I in this heat? Bakit ako in dito? I'll try avoid it. Okay. It, it's, not, it's, not, it's not as magic. Mm, sorry, I had to say this. It's not as uh, paisley or confusing as it is. It's really great data. Uh, in fact, most of the time you feel, uh, ito, uh, when you feel angry, most of the time somebody is invading your privacy mm -hmm. or your space or something you believe in. And then what do you do? You don't need to fight. You can set the line. Ah, basta ako hindi ayoko ng EJK. Um, and you can say it nicely. I think may katwiran kang may possibly right pero alam mo ako tanong mo ako, firm na firm ako. I think everybody should have the right for to do process, you know. You set the boundaries. It doesn't have to be war all the time. Uh, are there times you need to go to war? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, that's a whole different episode altogether. I wish you talaga the clarity for when, but if you have you're not kung hindi ka sure <laughs> Kung saan ka pupunta, hindi ka sure anong decision, make your health decide for you. Yun ang chairman of the board of your decisions, your oh. health. Oh. Good advice. Ah, oh, talaga. Good advice. That's so wise. In your brain, in your mm -hmm. brain, Howie, there's a chairman, there's a board of trustees of decisions. Your ego, your <laughs> your comfort, your family, please think, etc. Uh, hopefully, when uh, over the holidays, the chairman of the board of your decision making will be your health. 
uh, is this healthy? Right? Uh, is this healthy yeah. or not? You know, I don't, I don't. Parang yun na lang. <laughs> yun na lang muna. Okay, that's wise. Yeah. That's helpful. And that's a nice way to end. Thank you. Thank you, Gang. Thank you for all the sharing and Oh, that's and hard, ah. Oh, <laughs> Nahirapan ako konti. Pero okay lang. Naman. Oh, oh, kaya, maning-mani yan para sa'yo. But <laughs> thank you also for ano, encouraging all of us to think we can manage our anxieties better. No? Uh, oh, oh. By the way, yung sinabi ko kanina sa pag-asa, Howie, mm-hmm. pag sinabi ko ang pag-asa nasa barangay, hindi ko, hindi ko, I don't mean that we are shrinking our dreams or what the mm-hmm. hope is. I, I don't see it as a making it small. Uh, I actually see it as a very wise, granular way to get to a hopeful space. Uh, so don't yeah, worry. Well, imagine- yeah, well, that's, to me, it's another way of saying, you know, think global or think national, but act local. Uh, that's another way. Yeah, that's another uh, way. But, I mean, I, uh, but help your neighbor. Why not? I mean, uh, make make your community better. Yeah. I mean if you you know if you can't affect the whole country, I mean who can, right? I mean not every, not everyone can become president. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. if you can just I, if you can just help your community be better, I mean that's already a contribution. Oh, I have a project, a research project that I want to plug if it's okay. So maybe someone ahead. can participate. We are launching in January a project <laughs> called Barangay San Sino. Uh, S-A-N-S-I-N-O. Galing yun sa uh, saan ako hingi ng tulong at sino ang naatasan ng saligang batas tumulong sa akin. So, san sino? Mm-hmm. Parang sino assigned na? Mm-hmm. So, it will be, uh, we'll crowdsource info from everyone. Uh, paano kung ma- ma- ma-hit and run ako dito? Sino yung pinaka-okay tawagan? Sino mm-hmm. hindi? So, it's a lot of uh, info and knowledge sharing. So, we're launching a barangay of online um, residents, so Barangay San Sino, where everybody can watch out for every for each other. Oh, for sige. safe. Uh, okay, so aabangan uh, yan uh, sa January? January, Barangay yeah. San Sino. Para if you look forward to it, um, um, mag expand siya to, we want to offer um, and that was self-defense, safety, mm-hmm. CPR to people who work in gas stations, uh, convenience stores, yung mga bukas 24-7. Mm-hmm. So that um yeah so barangay Sige. san sino uh, we're on Instagram full word okay. barangay san sino but it's not launching Sige. till January. Okay. Hanapin natin doon. All right. Sige. In the meantime, may everyone have a happy and relaxed holiday season. Merry Christmas sa inyo at sa iyo, Gang Badoy, trauma therapist and mental health clinician. Mabuhay ka. Thank, Thank you so much you, for, for ano, all your wisdom. Maraming salamat. <laughs> Exhale. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. Check out the Howie Severino Podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms.